Hey everyone, it's Madeline Megs, and, um, Trump is president. I just made a video yesterday about how Trump should not be president and that Hillary should win. But no, Trump is president. And there, like, I live in West Virginia. We are a really red state. I'm not happy about it, but that's the truth. And so a lot of people are like, yay, Trump's becoming president. At least he's not Hillary. That's literally majority of what I'm hearing is at least he's not Hillary. It's okay. So this entire thing, like most of our presidential elections, was a vote of the lesser of two evils. Correct? Okay. Glad we got that covered. But a vote for a lesser of two evils is still a vote for evil. We're not winning no matter who we vote for. Like... There's always going to be that group who are like, yeah, I voted for this person because I really support what they believed in. Even though if what they believe in is really fucked up. But most, this time, most of what it was, it was, I'm voted for this candidate because they're not the other candidate. Okay, well, if we took all of those votes and gave it to, say, Gary Johnson, he would have won by a landslide. I'm not even joking. That's how many people voted for the a candidate because they're not the other one. And I know I am really terrified of Trump becoming president. And I've expressed so on a couple of social media platforms. And by a couple, I mean candid because yay candid. Not in support, not uh, endorsed by candid during. <laughs> but anyway. And because Trump was most likely going to try to all the progress we made he's probably going to go back on that because we now have the house the senate i think they said congress will also be and then the white house they're all republican so what's really going to stop trump from basically doing what he wants he if he wants to repeal the Supreme Court decision and everyone is Republican and like, yeah, gay marriage shouldn't be legal, then he can probably do that, which terrifies me. And I'm not the only one. Everyone in my, L like, my friends that are in the LGBT community are, they're horrified. Some of them won't even put their hands over their hearts for the Pledge of Allegiance because they do not want this. They want to keep their rights that they didn't particularly, but that we have fought so hard to get in the first place. And there are people online, oh, you shouldn't have even gotten those rights in the first place. Like, you have no reason to say that. All your reasoning for why it shouldn't be legal, none of that at all is follows any kind of logic or evidence or anything like that it's just your opinion and because you are screaming your opinion and a lot of other people are screaming that opinion you think it's right well newsflash it's not right you cannot take away someone else's human rights because they're doing something you don't like especially when that something is harming no one i'm going to stop there This is what we have for the next four years. Or less. I'm pretty sure that he will be impeached for something because there's got to be something. There's got to be some dirt on him. He is not this perfect saint that people think he is. Something has to be out there that can get him impeached. And again, then we have Pence, so that's not entirely a good thing either. Maybe Pence can get impeached too. Fall on Paul Ryan's or whatever. He seems okay. He at least seems doesn't he doesn't seem as bad as Trump and Pence. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the next four years with the candidate you have chosen. Hopefully he will not be reelected. And I will be sitting here 
trying to hold out on becoming an adult so that way I can still be shield like have a shield against some of this shit this entire shit storm that is brewing so America you voted you voted technically Hillary Clinton won the popular vote but electoral college voted Trump I hope we all burn together. Bye.